Welcome back to the Warp Curry podcast. This is the first official podcast. Uh, the last video was an announcement. And in that announcement, I'd mentioned that uh, it was not just going to be me. Uh, there's going to be other hosts and other guests. And, uh, well, not to delay it too long, I want to get our next host, our official host, uh, on the screen is Yogi Patel from Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, Yogi and I have been friends for over 35 years, and uh, this is something that just uh, we decided to do a few months ago, and uh, it took some time. It took a lot of work, a lot of effort. Um, he would have been on the, the first video had he not had to uh, cancel and go into jury duty, but uh, we can uh, let's welcome Yogi Boston. Yay. Cheers. Woo -hoo. Um. Yeah, jury duty was uh was interesting. It, it was a big learning experience. But as Gayer mentioned, uh, my name's Yogi. Um, I have uh, known him forever, uh, and we go way back. And we've done all kinds of crazy things together. And uh, we have a pretty good friendship. We cross a lot of lines all the time, and uh, everyone's okay with it. So I think this will be um, a good avenue for us to share a lot of our feelings. Him and I both have opposing feelings on a lot of things. So I think uh, that'll be a good mix for the folks. And at the end of the day, it's just a place for us to voice what we want to voice and potentially get some more folks on here to challenge us and to basically have a good time. So apologies for not being able to get this out earlier. Jury duty is a responsibility for uh, those who live in the country as citizens. Um, I do think it's a good process. I think uh, I learned a lot. This is the first time I've actually ever been selected on a trial. And there is a ton to learn. And I don't know if it was just the judge we had was awesome or uh, the attorneys that we had were awesome on both sides of the house. They, it was like an educational experience, you know, and talking about the law and how the law applies to certain things. And it's really not just you're on the jury. They the the prosecutors do their thing the defense does their thing everyone calls their witnesses and all that and then the judge says okay you decide they are literally educating you the whole way and more the judge obviously the attorneys are educating you with a bias but the judge is is definitely doing things in a way that's very neutral and they're also explaining things in a way where it is very um informative to us so we understand what the law is and we don't essentially go off of some misinformation or something that's been told so it was it was pretty cool i, I don't know if you have you ever been selected for jury duty <laughs> so I, I was selected once but i never made it there so um i don't want to get into details of what happened um because i don't know if i'll be in trouble for it but can you give you us more details of can you, I'm not getting into it because I don't know what the law was if I skipped jury duty, but what is it? Can you give a little more detail? Was it a, a murder, homicide, suicide, uh, you know, drug uh, bullet, uh, it, without obviously giving names unless you want to give the names and then, you know. No, I'd rather not. Um, Cause in all honesty, it was a little bit disturbing. I think there was a lot of, um, there was no good result to this trial. So in that sense, it was kind of mentally taxing. It was uh, mon last week, Monday through Friday, and this week, Monday and Tuesday. Um, but nonetheless, it was um, it had to do with a drug overdose, and obviously someone passed away, and you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Kind of typical, but it involved some serious drugs, and um, you know, a bunch of government agencies came, a bunch of doctors came and testified. Kind of typical what you see but um it was uh it was more eye-opening for me than anything right number one as a family as friends what we're doing it's really important to stay alert to these things because i think the folks involved the extended family they probably didn't even realize how bad certain addictions were getting or even maybe if there were addictions you know mm. so it, it really the the entire time i was thinking for both sides not just the the prosecution or the defense it, for both sides it was more you know man I, I need to make sure i'm sure they in their mind thinking man if i had done this differently my son or my daughter or my brother or sister or nephew niece whatever wouldn't have been in this situation I, that just comes back to me all the time like 
throughout the entire trial, I was like, man, what can I do to make sure our kids don't get into this? And they weren't like, you know, you have these preconceived notions all, all the time. Like, hey, this is what a drug dealer would be. This is what a drug addict would look like. I don't know if it's the movies. I don't know if it's social media or something. But basically, it, it always, you have this preconceived notion of what they look like or what how they might appear and that kind of stuff or how they might act. This also blew my mind. Everyone was just normal, very intelligent, very smart folks. They were, um, they were educated. They were getting their masters. They weren't. They it, it, there were no signs. If you saw them in the street or if you even interacted with them, I don't think there were any signs that they might have been doing something wrong or they were under the influence of something or maybe not at that time, but had some sort of addiction. Um, and that's what really got to me is that you never really know who's doing what. And a lot of these folks that I was, that were in the trial, the witnesses that came up that they themselves might've been taking some of these serious drugs, they, they could have been a colleague of mine for years and no one would have ever known, you know? So that freaked me out a little bit. Thinking. Yeah, a lot of a lot of times uh, when I'm watching stuff on YouTube, there's a lot of trials that it's they're so crazy that you you don't expect. Sometimes it's somebody right down the road um, that's doing it, and uh, you know we know some friends that have gone in through gone gotten into drugs um, and had a lot of uh, issues with it. Right? Uh, um, it, it's I think everybody knows somebody that has that issue, and hopefully. Uh, uh, gets out of it but uh it was uh seven days of you being in the trial while i was trying to figure out how to to do this so i just went ahead and uh kind of launched a seven minute video uh that i think everybody's seen but uh before we get into the actual main topic of what we wanted to talk about today which is what everybody was uh looking forward to i want to make sure because this is our first video this is something we're doing new that everybody un understands that i know there's a lot of people wanting to support us um rooting for us and hoping we do something great and uh in order to kind of keep us motivated uh we just ask that they subscribe to it like it share it uh share the youtube channel share our instagram uh from warp curry do whatever you can to try to help us out so that we can continue uh to do this if you enjoy it um technically even if you don't enjoy this right now just do it just so we can keep doing it and then eventually you don't have to watch us but at least for now uh share whatever you can uh with as many people as you can across the world and uh let's get into the the meat of what <laughs> we were going to talk about so we we're going to talk about ai um i hinted at why we changed the topic right so the initial topics were going to be very different even until yesterday so even yogi didn't know we were changing the topic and uh, uh i think it kind of once I saw what I saw and what you're about to see, uh, it made me want to talk about it. So let me share the screen so we have it. So yesterday I had uh, mentioned that I was going to post on Instagram uh, a graphic similar to this, right? Uh, it would have had uh, the topic of this one is kind of interesting that we're starting an, a, a, a YouTube channel. But the topic has nothing to do with anything. It's just that it was going to be a similar layout where, you know, a picture of me um, in there and it would say the same thing with, uh, you know, instead of with Brittany, it would say with K or Patel and uh, eventually we would have changed another one to show Yogi when the time came. So I went online to this website, uh, Aragon.ai and created headshots. So before I show them, I'll explain kind of what the process is because it, it's interesting they have you send six images of yourself upload six images that you have clean images as clear as you can and it'll tell you if the images are good or not uh, for their process of creating this uh, uh, ai image of you so i sent in it took me 10 images before they approved them all because the four of them it didn't like because maybe there was some, another person in there uh, it wasn't clear or something whatever it was um and like i said i paid $40, I believe, for 50 images. Um, and for whatever reason, maybe it's a new website, they actually gave me 100 images for that $40. Um, but it was just amazing to see what came out from the the, the images that they sent. So I'm going to show here on the screen. 
<laughs> so this is i'll let you i'll let you get it out real quick this is oh, the 100 God. images right i'm going through it quick because i can, this is too many to go select, through one by one can, um, can you select like what kind of image you want or is it just like hey we're just gonna give you the gamut so before i keep going with that so you can't really select you can't really select what you want they will you can select how many and then i think if I, and again it i think it lets you tell you what you're you want the images for right so let's say if it was for a graphic or for uh social media or something it'll give you a couple questions but for the most part it just takes whatever you give and creates whatever number you pay for and i think there was a free one which was like very limited in the number of images um but you know you'll see in this so i just scrolled through the 100 images now we're gonna <laughs> go in i saved a few in the favorites thing that it has and so we'll go through one by one um just to kind of unfortunately share this with the world so here we are <laughs> well, this is this is the uh, the James Bond look. Or so can you can you zoom in a bit? Like, what is it doing to you? No, it's I'm not. Well, I'm not zooming in. First of all, but um, it takes the six images that you have and tries to make a better version of you. I guess um, because anybody that knows me knows that one, I'm not seven foot tall. Um, and so why it makes me look like I'm seven foot tall doesn't make any sense either. Um, but that, that technically isn't a horrible picture. Um, mm -hmm. you know, it's kind of obviously made me look taller and obviously the suit is not something I'd ever wear. Um, but it is a, I look for the most part face and everything probably looks close enough. I mean, you can do a side by side here, I guess at this point. Um, let me see. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I'll give you that's as zoomed in as we're getting. <laughs> um, so the next one, this one I love. What the heck? That doesn't <laughs> even look like you. Yeah, because there's a lot of hair. <laughs> it's actually the hair is your hair, apparently. Um, it's, a... it, it's pretty amazing. The funny thing is, I don't even from the pictures I sent, I I have an actual tie just like that, but. I don't remember any of the pictures having like a backpack because it seems like the AI and you'll see some other pictures later seems to feel like I had a backpack. So it's showing straps, right? Cause that, those aren't suspenders. Cause that yeah, yeah. how it's looking, but you'll see a bunch of the pictures have that, but it's amazing what it did. Like I have no pictures that I sent that had hair. Cause I knew I, that's, you know, I wasn't trying to fake that, but somehow it still kept putting hair on me. Wow. Even though it wasn't one of the things I, I wanted all right so we'll go to the next one <laughs> this one's again not that bad again it's made me look taller and neck is long as hell but uh this one's not as far off this one's, this one's again the, i don't know where the backpack come from because i don't think any of the pictures had a backpack um but it decided to, you know as if i just came straight from india right now um and put hair on me and I've never had hair that looked like that either. So, like I said, it's not an image um, that I would have uploaded that had hair to try to fake that. I never had hair that looked like that. Yeah. Um, we're going to go through these and then we'll talk a little more about the AI. Um, but this one's an, this was a pretty good looking picture, but again, not me. Because <laughs> I've never worn glasses that look like that. I don't have hair. Do you think it automatically just adds hair to folks who are bald? Thinking, I, I mean, it, it must. I, it's like I said, it's a hundred images where maybe 30, 40 have hair. Uh, I'll go back to the main website and kind of just scroll quickly and you'll kind of see that. But I didn't think it would add hair. Like, it, you know, it's, I wanted it to be like if I wanted to use AI to create images of me for an interview. I can't post this and then walk into an interview and look like this. I mean, it would no, just yeah, be like, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? It'd be too. So that's why I didn't think it was going to happen. And when it did, that's why this, that's why this whole topic of everything that we were doing today changed. Well, one thing I hate. So I used this a while back. Do you remember there was like a, 
a phase and it still might be where you could kind of take your picture and make it like into a cartoon. I don't yeah. know if you've seen anything like that. So I did that a while back. I'm trying to pull it up here. Um, and basically it's, it, it created it, but it was like, it, it made me like super skinny. So I, apparently I was way too fat for them. So they, they decided <laughs> to like thin it up like crazy. And I was just like, what the hell is this? And I tried to mess with the settings to make it fatter. And then I was just like, whatever. But it basically... But it's amazing to see how it went from that to now an AI image that's, I mean, yeah. it looks like that, but just very realistic. Like some of these are like, are as com comedic as that, right? But they're re yeah. they're very realistic. Like a good photographer could have taken this video, um, uh, this picture somewhere if I actually look like that. One more. This one's not too bad, or I think there's more, but... Um, Again, more a little more realistic, except for trying to make me look seven foot tall. Again, added the hair. What the hell? That doesn't even look like you. Like, yeah, this one like your brother. Yeah, but it, it, the nice thing is they the clothes and stuff. The background is pretty nice. Yeah, I mean, like you, you know, one thing they nailed. It's definitely like your expression. You know, like yeah, yeah. You, you would make this face. You know, again, it doesn't look like it looks like you, but it, it's not you, obviously. But um, they've definitely done a good job kind of mimicking what you're, you know, if one eyebrow is a little higher than other every time you have like that focused look or like even like right here, like when you smile, like again, I don't know what they did, man. They just like modified your face a little bit. Though. This is the uh, my executive fireman look because <laughs> he's got a tie on on this jacket. Like, yeah amazing no but just the face alone it doesn't look like you yeah some are far off but i think again they take six images and some of if they're i think if i found six images where i'm looking at the camera straight it might have been a little bit closer for all of them but right. some of the images if i remember were like you know i don't take a lot of pictures of myself so whatever i found from like the last two years some are at an angle some are on the side whatever and so that's why have you seen these videos of um, AI generated scenes? Like if you, there are, there are solutions where you can type in like saying, Hey, can you create a video of, you know, uh, me or not me, but you know, a plane going through like a scenic route through the Grand Canyon and everything or a Grand Canyon like um, scene. And it just literally puts it together, you know, add some trees, add some clouds, make it a rainy day and everything. And it literally puts it together really nicely. Right. Um, and then obviously the new thing right now, which is the Apple. Um, the glasses thing. Vision yep. um, goggles. And those, I don't know if you've seen that while you were in yeah. uh, jury duty, because they kind of launched right in the middle of your jury duty. But um, those things are pretty amazing and taking AI to another level. And uh, it, I think it's going to change. The next few years of AI is going to be very interesting. Um, yeah, especially because there's a lot of good that can happen with AI and there's a lot of bad that can happen. And so we just have to make sure or somebody has to make sure. And I know it's going to be a hard uh, battle between how much the government gets involved in AI, um, because, uh, you know, part of the issue is do they use it for good or bad? And then, you know, what is yeah. the public going to do with it and how much do you actually bring into the public of what can be done with it? Um, there's definitely a lot of good that I saw. Like one of the videos I saw yesterday of somebody using the Apple vision glasses is learning to be a DJ just with the glasses and actually not having to buy a, any piece of equipment. Wow. And, uh, it had albums. I mean, she was picking albums from the sky, putting them down, doing everything that a DJ would do. And that's something somebody can learn from. And then obviously eventually use that in real life. Or I don't know if you can have. A party with just a bunch of these goggles and no one actually has to do anything so so going into like the 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 corporate world i think they're super useful because i would rather have that i'm sitting at any desk but like you know we always want bigger monitors bigger screens multiple monitors and all that stuff you can literally using augmented reality in your room place massive monitors on certain walls and 
project that image there. So you're working on your computer, but you're literally typing away and whatever you're typing on this screen is on that. So it's basically like you have massive screens everywhere. Um, and I think it could increase productivity a ton and it, it makes it really, really nice. So I, I think in the workspace, I think there's a huge um, advantage in doing something like this. And the beauty of it is, is from what I have read, it saves where you've left off and everything, you know? So you, you save that scene, you put those things on, you sit at your desk and it's like you're in your office now, right? But it could just be an empty room with a small desk. But it has that feel where you have multiple screens and multiple monitors. It's going to save people a lot of money if you look at some of the setups you could do in that versus doing those setups in actual real life. I mean, there's a ton of money to be saved there as well. Now, I'm not a fan of people walking around and not socializing and wearing this stuff. Like That's the, the negative if you were to take the negative and positive of everything, which I want to talk about one thing. When you go into jury duty at the courthouse security, you have to check in your phone. You have to power off your phone, check it in, your watch. No electronics effectively in for the jurors. So when you get in there and we're in the jury room, which is basically behind uh, you know, the, the doors in the courthouse behind where the judge sits and everything, there's rooms back there for us. The first day we were just like, Everyone was just so quiet. And I'm, I'm sure some of it is, you know, we didn't know each other and that kind of stuff. But you could tell that, like, everyone's just, like, looking for their phone. Um, it, just, just, it was just something we had to get acquainted to with uh, conversing, socializing without the phone. But by the end of it, we were all, like, we all kind of saw a new light of, of, of socializing. And it really brought us back to where things should be in reality where we're socializing without having our phones on our desk or distracting us and everything. So um, after that, and in the evenings when I came home, my kids noticed that like this last week, I probably left my phone in random spots so many times. Um, whereas before I always had my phone with me. So it's like, I'm going to kind of keep that up because I feel that it's better without it. it. It just makes things so much better. So going back to the goggles or, or the vision things or whatever, I don't like people walking around with them in public, but I do think there are some uses for it. Yeah, and I think it's going to be a matter of time before we um, see the benefits of it. Um, version two, version three of all these devices that are out there right now will get better. Um, but it, it's scary and fun at the same time. Like I said, the images that came out where I thought it was going to be a lot cleaner because AI is a, is come a long way it's still not 100 percent there right so yeah. um you know um i think next time we try some images of uh of you and see what ai does to that just so we can you know i don't want to be the only one showing uh <laughs> pictures of myself in ai but i think we'll uh one day we'll do that where we show um a picture of you that i'm trying to find <laughs> some more because it, it's what it does I, i'll put one that it's freaky um, and scary looking and it shouldn't be, but it is just because of the way they did it. So we'll show that. So we're pretty much done today with today's episode, but uh, it's great to have Yogi here today. I think the conversation went well, and I think we have a lot more to talk about. He has a lot more to talk about. And like I said, like and subscribe if you can to the uh, podcast, share it with as many people as you can. And, uh, as we exit, I will leave you with one more image of what AI has created and how crazy oh it is. What the heck? I don't know why it did that, but it did. So 